How's it going out there, Tling? The offload appears to be going well, Captain. Mr. Prasula informs me that he has sufficient carriers to allow us to offload without significant downtime waiting for transport. Send my regards to Mr. Prasula. He's a credit to his family and his ancestors. Yes, Captain. Mr. Prasula also wishes for you to meet him in his dockside office after we have offloaded. I believe he is curious to know how we arrived here from X2 in just 18 days. I'll bet he is! Captain, explain to me why we must always drink at a dockside bar after completing a cargo run. It's tradition! It... Don't Vulcans have traditions? Many, but none of them involve public intoxication. Come on, it's one drink. I'll buy. Now remember what I said if anybody messes with us. If they insult us, insult their ship. If they push us, shove back harder. Good girl. You have to stand up for yourself out here. You'll be fighting every punk in the sector who thinks you're an easy target. So it is a social order based upon reprisal and revenge. Zanerians call it justice. Captain, we could simply drink on Aurora. What fun is that? Soak in the atmosphere. Enjoy the company. Now, is this really so bad? As your Dr. Einstein posited, everything is relative. <laughs> Well, I think these guys are relatively interested. Interested in what, Captain? In us, silly! Don't look! Ah, uh, human mating rituals. Vulcans don't have mating rituals? We do. However, we limit them to once every seven years. That explains a lot. Okay, here they come. Act natural. I shall endeavor. So you're the girls from Aurora. And you must be the captain. Depends on who's asking. Oh, it's you all right. Just like I said, Chug. Cannibal Kara. <gasps> right here in this very bar. Do I know you? Randy Jacobs, ma'am. Can't Lone Star. You might have heard of me. There are lots of idiots out here. Huh. Real funny. This here your crewmate? Better lock your cabin at night, Pixie, in case she gets up for a bite. Cannibal Kara, you're a celebrity. What you drinking there? Blood? Sir. I believe you are annoying my Beat captain. It, Pixie. I'm talking to a living legend. You know, you can still scare spacer kids with stories about cannibal Kara waiting for him out in the dark. <laughs> I employed what you may know as the Vulcan nerve pinch. He shall wake up with a headache, but he is otherwise unharmed. Come in. Can I help you, Captain? It's true. 
what he said. Cannibal Kara or Crazy Kara. I thought I'd left all of that back in Federation space. Captain? I was 12 when my family's cargo ship was attacked by Romulans. Only I survived. Subspace, navigation, warp drive, all of it destroyed. And the food replicators. I drifted for months in the small part of the ship I was able to patch and pressurize. What food I could scrounge ran out in a week. Hey, Captain, I've got a live one. It's a kid. Are you okay, honey? Are you hurt? Severe malnutrition, dehydration. It's a good thing we found her when we did. The distress signal said this happened months ago. What she'd been living on. Captain, I think we're going to see this. I had adapted a water reclamation unit to extract proteins from organic matter. It was the logical thing to do, given the circumstances. Would a Vulcan have done it? The will to survive is strong in every species, even Vulcans. <clears throat> so... You say that jerk's head's gonna hurt when he wakes up? One can apply the Vulcan nerve pinch such that the waking is very unpleasant. Thanks, Tling. <laughs> 